Good day, people. I read in the Zero Limits book that Dr. Hulan used both sides of the brain, two hemispheres of the brain. The left hemisphere, I found out, controlled the right side of the body, and the right hemisphere controlled the left side of the body. So I've been doing these drills to get both hemispheres working, both lobes, left and right, things like music and juggling. So I've been getting both sides working to get in the formula, because I'm figuring it's still a theory, it's still a theory that two sides have to be better than one. Two sides have to be better than one. And when it's not going well, it's because I'm on a slant to one side. Become very right-handed. You ever become very handed? I'm handed, man. I do the, I brush my teeth with, with one hand, one side stronger than the other. I'm trying to strengthen the other side now. The other side! Looking for Coach Chameleon, where is he? He's on the other side. It's October 14th, the year is 2021, and in Zero Limits, the book. You know the Joe Vitale book about Dr. Hulan who used this ancient wisdom, ancient wisdom, Hawaiian wisdom, to heal people? Well, I wrote this down today from it. Problems can be solved. And problems are part of the reason for existence. It kind of takes the sting out of the problem. That Problems can be solved. Just knowing that. Problems can be solved. And it's part of the reason that you're here. To what? S solve problems. Self-identity. Wrote that down. Self-identity is the purpose. Or remembering. Or the zero state. I've heard it called enlightenment. I've heard it ma called mastery. This says through this ancient Hawaiian technique, they call it Ho'oponopono, is a problem solving technique. There you go. Where you go to the root of the problem. Where you take care of the problem at the root. Or it just continues. You know how we do it here. We try to manage everything out here. We're trying to manage the world. When it's really coming from inside me, I see the key to this whole technique is the 100% responsibility. I see I can get that. I can get 100%. I can get, I can get it. I'm on my way. And what I'm using as a tool is knowing how it goes. I already was studying the laws of the universe. I already was doing that before this. I was remembering how it goes. I was writing books about it. I am writing books about it. And at all point, all the books that I've ever written pointed to the same thing, this 100% responsibility thing. So it's nothing new. Just see it at a different level. Maybe in a different light. Seeing things in a different light. So knowing how it goes is my friend. The rules of the game. Knowing the rules of the game. So I wrote this down. It was important information, I thought. The conscious mind believes it's in charge, really believes it's in charge, that it's a problem solver. It knows what to do in this situation. Let me handle, the mind always says this, let me handle this. It thinks it controls what happens. It thinks it controls what's experienced. What I found out is that really what's happening is there's a conscious mind and it's going along like this. But underneath it is a subconscious mind that you can't see. And this is where all the files are stored. All the history, all the memories, everything that's ever happened from the beginning of time to anybody is stored in the subconscious. You know the whole thing, we are only what we are all one. We're all one. Well, it's a really literal, I think it's literal. I believe it might be literal that there isn't anybody else that there were only one and everyone else, everyone else that we see is a projection of our innermost thoughts. We don't see them because they're down here in the subconscious. And problem solving through this technique would be to erase the subconscious. See, the conscious mind's playing. I used to be up in here. I used to teach everything about up in here. Make sure your thoughts are what you choose. Make sure that you're on manual. This is... Go past that and come down here to the subconscious where everything is, the root of the cause. 
See, this is what's projecting out on to the screen. And this technique is to take responsibility for it. Illness, if you see it in somebody else, that's your projection and take 100% responsibility. You can't walk around saying we're all one and then think something's outside of you. You can't talk about there isn't anything but one and have something be out there. There's nothing out there except for the movie that's playing right in front of our eyes. And that movie is being fed from the real in the subconscious. And that subconscious was programmed from the beginning of time. Problem solving with this technique is to erase that subconscious to turn to the higher power. What they're calling in here divinity. What we've called many times the almighty or the higher power, the higher self. Infinity. Have you heard this? Infinity. To use its power to erase that subconscious with the phrases, I love you. I'm seeing that if I say it to this tree right here, I'm saying it's a divinity because all that is, is all there is, and that's all there is to it. So if I'm using the phrase, I love you, I've heard it before, you've heard it, in the face of illness, instead of trying to solve it, try to erase it, and the magic eraser is, I love you. I've heard it for eons, have you heard it? Love is the answer, love conquers all, have you heard it? I've heard it. It's in songs. Here's what's great. When you're doing this, I'm, I'm figuring this out. When I'm doing I love you to anything in my mind, I'm actually expressing love or shipping it overnight. It's about the same. Then thank you, the phrase thank you, I love you, thank you, is expressing the gratitude. And then please forgive me is asking for the erase. I'm sorry is asking for the erase. You get hung up on the words. That's the words we have right now that I'm just going to use for right now. I will give you the data that comes from these words here in the upcoming months. But for right now, it is, I'm turning to the higher power and there's nothing else to do because my purpose is to erase or not to erase. My purpose is to go to the zero state, which is under the subconscious. That's my choice. My conscious mind gets the choice to erase the subconscious or not, which gets you back to what is called zero in this, or the God state, or enlightenment, mastery, no memories, painful memories playing on the screen. Limitless. See, now that's good news right there. Pretty interesting when we talk about how it's our only choice is whether we're going to erase it or not. And you do the erase when? In the moment. How are you gonna do it? You gotta take full responsibility. Then what, coach? Well, then you gotta practice. Gonna, I do it sometimes, I do it, some, I do it sometimes. Then I do it more often, then I do it more often. Then I do it consistently. And then I do it only. So I'm gonna build the staircase. I'm right now, I'm on, I do it sometimes. But as I study this, as I put it on here available to others, as I talk about it, as I practice it, it gets more. Those are laws, just like juggling. You get better at it. Get better at what? Seeing everything is yours, saying I love you to it, talking to the divine, opening up communication to the divine, and saying I love you, thank you. Please forgive me, and I'm sorry. Erase, delete, go ahead. Get your magic eraser out and take off the subconscious for me, would you? Of course. See, in the divine, what I'm finding out is the holy, the almighty power never infringes on your free will. It waits until you command it to do this. So the wait is over. Let's get busy. See you on the next one.